Thank you, Ben, and uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I think as everybody in this room knows, uh, addressing climate change requires considerable action. As airlines, we believe we're playing our part, and in fact, you can expect us to do even more going forward. But we need other areas of the industry to do more, particularly in relation to air traffic management. The, the slide in front of you shows the fragmented nature of European airspace. It's divided geographically, and in fact, as you will probably know, in many cases, governments in the countries divide their airspace up even further. So this is very fragmented and very inefficient. Uh, it's outdated. It's causing us to fly considerably longer routes than is necessary. Uh, you may have heard me say this before, but 40 years ago, 40 years ago, I was flying a 737-200, flying around European airspace. And it's shocking to know that, you know, that aircraft, which had very basic avionics and navigation equipment compared to the aircraft we have today, but the, the flight paths that we were following 40 years ago are exactly the same as they are today. Uh, and when you look at the avionics and navigation equipment that we have on modern aircraft, uh, I recently had the opportunity to fly an A350. You know, it's staggering to see the advances that we have made as an industry in terms of the equipment on board the aircraft. Collectively, as airlines, we have invested billions in new technology, but we're still being forced to fly through the sky in the same way as we were 40 years ago when we had the most basic navigation equipment. And quite honestly, that, that is a scandal. Uh, if you look at, move on to the next slide. If you look at the way we're operating today, it's estimated that uh, if you look at 2018, where uh, airlines within Europe, within European airspace, emitted about 67 million tonnes of CO2, it's estimated that we could save, with the modernization of air traffic, we could save about 7 million tonnes. And if you extrapolate that and include all airlines flying through European airspace, it's estimated that we could save about 25 million tonnes of CO2 if we had a more efficient air traffic system in Europe. So the single European sky has been debated for, I don't know, 30, maybe even 40 years. Uh, it's probably been debated since before I was born. Uh, and it's time to stop the debate. We, we need action. This is quite honestly a scandal. And we're calling on the Croatian and German governments in their leadership in the council to address this issue and start making real progress in relation to the single European sky. You know, we will play our part. We will do what is required from us. We will continue to invest billions to ensure that we have the most modern equipment capable of flying through European airspace in the most efficient way. But we require ANSPs in Europe to play their part, and we require governments to start taking action rather than talking about this so that we can significantly reduce the amount of CO2 that's being emitted in European skies.